hello today i would like to show you something that i managed to find in absolutely great condition this is a goal zero portable power pack the model number is sherpa 50. they also made a sherpa 100 model which this is a what hour capacity 50 watt hour and the, the 100 is around 100 watt hours on my channel i reviewed the 100 ac this was like the latest model that they manufacture with the usb-c pd ports but in my opinion that was like the best model if you are kind of outdoor guy but at the same time you are creative and you would like to hack something make your own plug do something interesting because the newer model the sherpa 100 ac that you can see on my channel i do a couple mods like adding another different usb-c pd power bank to extend capacity i was using the built-in inverter with a ptc load that was taking more current and it was shutting down the device so i already played with this unit but i'm not i was not totally happy i was not happy with the newer model because the usb-c go with this device to like a uh, quite hard to to play around and don't get me wrong the usb-c ports are are great but you cannot just take the the power from the unit and use in your other application which here you can 100 percent can so let's take a look this is a factory brand new device the only thing i did i opened the box and i plug it to the the charger i'm currently recording audio on the same device i'm powering my audio interface what we can see we've got a very nice packaging if you enjoy the apple this is also nice give you that really premium feel and it is telling you everything what you can do you can power this from a sun from a wall charger that is included you can attach the ac inverter that is also included and here you've got the all spec you've got all the ports because this is an old device it was giving you a great option for a lot of different hacks and yeah this is how it looks like so if it was like in the retail shop you can grab this and you can see what's inside of the package very nice but we are going to take a look and we are going to open this unit and let's slide our content I believe it is not manufacturer anymore that's why I'm telling you that that was a great deal to to get a unit in that condition and they are also easy to hack in form of replacing cells they are using a standard size of lithium ion just like on the computer battery and you can replace them with the highest capacity and you can get about 80 watt hour that's the real capacity that you can get so first thing we can see the inverter and this is something that i absolutely love about this device that the inverter is separate device and we are going to take a look in second because it have a couple interesting feature so we've got the international plugs if you would like to travel you can get this
here is unit itself. This is how it looks like. It looks absolutely great. Let's remove the, the packaging. And they are making the same model, but it's slightly longer and it has a 100 watt hour. This is like a small. This is how it looks like. I'm going to tell you everything that we can see on the side. I very enjoyed that. This is like a steel lanyard. It was designed to be hang up like while you are hiking or you are charging this from a solar panel. You can hang it somewhere. Very great. This is not uh, aluminum. This is a plastic. So don't, don't get confused. And here we've got all the specification very nicely told. Here are the most important parts. I believe this unit was manufactured in uh, 2013 and we've got a uh, almost 2022. So it is uh, almost 10 years old, but it is uh, fully operational. And yes, so let's start from the, from checking out what kind of cables do we get? Because we've got a whole box. We've got a whole box of goodies. And what we've got? We've got a AC power brick. You have to understand that back then there was no USB-C and it was a completely wild west in form of charging things. So there was absolutely no way that you would have a proper adapter already in home. So they have you to provide with. And this is what you've got. You've got a 15 volt 1.5 amp. Very nice cable management with this plug and this is great because you can cap this plug and you can rig something to yourself. It's going to, to be color coded and fit to the input and to the same input you are going to plug your solar panel and you can recharge that device in field. But that's not everything good. So we've got the European style plug with this standard connector so you can grab any cable that you need. And here we can start looking at the most interesting parts. We've got one cable that looks like this and this is a cigarette lighter adapter, 12 volt. And here is starting to be really interesting because this unit got an absolutely great feature of having built-in DC to DC converter. That's why this is absolutely one of the best models because it does not only provide you with a straight voltage from the battery. Here you can take a voltage from battery unregulated, but here you can get a 12 volt regulated and I believe a 19 volts for a laptop. And yes, that's exactly. So we've got 100 watt on both ports. So no matter what state of charge you are going to have on the battery, that 12 volt is going to be exactly a 12 volt and we are going to measure that. This plug is also color coded, but it have also a different shape. And if you power it on, it's going to glow. So it is absolutely, absolutely fantastic. 
just like this and we are going to we can we can try to plug something so here i've got my soldering iron and let's try to plug it in and let's see whether it's going to work and we can take a look at the other feature so here we've got also a 19 volt for a laptop while west just like i told you we've got a bunch of adapters that are going to cover most brand of laptops from that time and we've got this nice cable that is also color coded it go here and we can attach a correct adapter i'm most likely going to cut it and use with my other equipment that's why i told you that this is a great because i'm going to cut this cable i'm going to put a anderson power pole and i will be able to run any of my devices and you do not need to be worried about anything so that's absolutely great this is a quite nice company because they label each cable so you can see the sizing of the of the plugs while the soldering iron is warming up let's take a look at the side this is a connector that have a two use case first of all like two official and the third one is up to you you can hook up here anything and it's going to be run straight from the battery so it's a unregulated output it was dedicated to be used with the inverter or with a special cable that they sold and it was looking like this but have uh, two exactly the same plugs and you can have two units like this and you can stack them together you can tie them together and get more capacity which was an absolutely brilliant idea but they think about everything everything they they think if you plug the ac inverter you are not going to use that port if you can take a look here we've got this port replicated so even with this module attached we can still grab the power from that port or we can we can we can share the battery with uh, other units so as you can see now it's tight, starting to look a little bit beefy but as I told you, that's absolutely great because for a hike, I do not need to carry inverter. So you can unscrew it this in second. Let's see, does it does it work? Because I'm talking a long time. Of course, it's working. Of course, let's try to let's try to solder something. Just let's pretend the best tool. and let's take a look and it's working like charm working perfect so this is how it looks like and basically you can plug anything that is under 100 watts and you are going to get the regulated DC output that will not fluctuate while the battery is discharging we are, would like to enable the 19 volt we switch it here now this part is red we go to the middle and it's off if we would like to power something like, uh, in my case, the audio interface, those devices are not 
taking a lot of current and this device might turn off itself thinking that you left it not working. They of course think about that and you press this button for around 10 seconds and there will be a small icon and now it's going to be uh, constantly on. From interesting thing we also have got a small light and yeah it's it's okay. Sadly think that we've got only one USB port. This is not, not a USB PD, no quick charge, just old regular USB port. It is rated up to 1.5 amp, 7.5 watts, which is uh, not much, but enough. So this is how this unit looks like. In my opinion, this is the one of the best power banks that you can use for all different sorts of hacking. And you might tell me that you can basically buy on the AliExpress a USB-C device that you plug and you kind of emulate the device and it's going to provide you the voltage that you need for your project. But I have a problem that the overcurrent was like basically enabling if you are trying to run something more powerful. The, the USB-C power banks are not designed for, for that kind of application. This you can overload it and nothing wrong going to, to be happening. The inverter, how to power it on, you just slide it here. We've got a green LED and we can plug something in. I've got the lamp. We are going to plug it in. I'm going to make sure that it's off. We plug it in and we are going to let the soft start to power it on and it's working. It's working perfectly fine, just like it should. Let's try to measure the regulated output. And we read exactly what we should read, slightly above a 12 volt. It is really painful to probe it since we've got the handguard and they are not fit inside. Let's see the 19 volt. So that's how it looks like. In my opinion, this is an absolutely great device. Under that flap, we've got a fuse. Maybe we can take a look at the fuse. I'm wondering what kind of fuse do they use? Should be a car? Yes, that's a regular car fuse, 15 amp rating. So quite easy to replace if, if it's going to be blown. Very nice, good fit. Standard fuse. Correct voltage for the application. It's a 10 amp rated device, so we've got some room. So this is how it looks like. I believe this is an absolutely great device. If you are willing to do some modification, if you would like to cut this plug, put something yours, rig your own cable, the 12 and the 19 volt, that's a really great option. We've got a steel a small form factor, but if we need a AC, We've got absolutely no problem attaching this unit and they came with uh, different voltages. I definitely see a 110 volt. So if you are in the US, absolutely no problem. And I'm going to take it into the field. I'm going to hook up the solar panel and we are going to take a look. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you find it interesting. See you next time and bye bye.